Good evening. So it's the final weekend of our uh, little moist January experience. Uh, so we're going to do one more um, non-alcoholic and alcoholic uh, version of a drink. And this is a drink that I've kind of wanted to do for a long time. And the um, alcoholic version that I'm doing is a tequila daisy. And um, tequila daisy is sort of the origin story of the margarita. So legend goes that there was a newspaper man from Iowa on vacation in Southern California with his wife in the 1930s. And they uh, took a little side trip to uh, Tijuana, as people do in Southern California. And uh, as you might imagine, Tijuana was uh, a popular spot for people to go during Prohibition. So they would um, you know, head over the border from South uh, Southern California to Tijuana. And at the height of Prohibition, there were over 150 bars in Tijuana. But this was in the mid 30s by the time Prohibition had been repealed. And so the uh, bar scene in Tijuana was down to about 10. But there was a bar run by an Irishman, I think his name was Madden. And um, they, uh, he became legendary for a drink called the Tequila Daisy. And so this reporter went in search of the Tequila <laughs> Daisy and asked Madden the story of its origin. And it basically was a mistake. So there was a drink called, uh, Daisy is basically a family of drinks. Um, <laughs> and uh, the most common uh, Daisy was a Brandy Daisy. And a Daisy is basically spirit and sweetener and an orange liqueur like uh, Curacao um, and a splash of club soda. Um, and he apparently grabbed the wrong bottle. He reached for the brandy, but he accidentally grabbed the tequila. Um, and uh, the, the drink was so popular that uh, it became his thing. And this newspaper man brought it back to Iowa and made it famous by his little hometown newspaper. And the rest is history. So I'm going to do the original um, Tequila Daisy, which nobody really knows the recipe of the Tequila Daisy. It's lost uh, forever, but a lot of people have sort of tried to recreate it. Um, oh, what's the matter? The dog, the dog. He disapproves of Watson oh, he doesn't like helping the with the video. video. Should we put he's him up He's not here? happy uh, with video? this. No. no, he's been kicking me. Yes. All right, so. Pawing me. The tequila daisy that I'm making is uh, tequila, and I'm going to use a barrel aged tequila. This is uh, uh, Rejon Reposado tequila, and then some lemon juice, some sweetener, which can be simple syrup, but I'm going to use uh, super fine sugar. And um, I'm using Grand Marnier as our orange liqueur rather than um, the uh, usual Curacao. So I'll put my chilled glasses aside. Cointreau, Cointreau, Curacao, what are we Curacao, using? Cointreau, Cointreau, it's all the same. Basically, it's not I bet you're going to say. It's in the same family. There you go. So we want two ounces of tequila for our alcoholic version of the daisy. <laughs> There's two ounces. I'm just gonna make it a, making one of each, one alcoholic, one non, wet and dry, together make moist. Um, <laughs> ooh, if I can get the cap off of... Our rarely used. Rarely used Grand Marnier. Just need a half an ounce of the Grand Marnier. Half an ounce of lemon juice. And, and a bar spoon of Super fine sugar. I'm going to stir that a little bit to dissolve it. All right, then we're going to shake it up with ice. Drain that in. Top it 
with a little bit of club soda. Okay, much. For garnish, we're gonna go with our dehydrated lemon slice. So there is the tequila daisy. I'm gonna go for the non-alcoholic version. It's clean glassware and all. This one, different spoon. I'm gonna start this one with our sugar. A little more sugar. Our lemon juice, half an ounce. Give that a little stir. Try and dissolve it a little bit. Top. Then we're gonna go two ounces of Free Spirits Spirit of Tequila, which is um, a non-alcoholic distilled beverage that's similar to a barrel-aged tequila. That's why I'm using the barrel-aged Reposado tequila to try and get that same. And then instead of our orange liqueur, I'm using uh, Seed Lip Grove, which is a citrus flavored, non-alcoholic distilled beverage. Doing the same proportion, so half an ounce of that, two ounces of the not really tequila. And we're gonna shake this one. That's good. It's refreshing. Yeah. It's a nice, light, refreshing summer. Summary. Yeah. Jenks. <laughs> mm. There you go. A little history lesson on the margarita where it came from. Tijuana, by mistake. Uh, this is the tequila daisy. And uh, hope you enjoyed our little moist January experiment here. We did. And, uh, yeah, it was good. It was. Uh, it was definitely good to take a break from uh, overindulging during the holidays. So January is a good time to kind of <laughs> and the pandemic bring it back. <laughs> oh, pandemic! Yeah, two years of not being able to go anywhere. So I'm going back for this one <laughs> again. You can have the rest, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And see how that morphed into the uh, margarita. It's sort of a More of a spirit forward cocktail version of the margarita. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>